Give me a second, I'll pull that up. That's all right, I just wanted to know. That the guy was qualifying. Um, this, um, this breakdown of how you came from the real estate transfer tax, the general fund is in the debt service fund. What is the two? How are they different? The general fund is where the majority of the expenses come out of, but are not specific to an item. The debt that service fund is only for the debt service for the bond. If you look at the ordinance passed at the last beginning of every year, it shows you where the millage breakdown is. There's millage for the general fund, there's millage for the debt service fund, there's millage for the parks and rec fund, millage for the library fund. Okay, now this library fund, is that, that 1255 is that bringing up the 50000 that they're supposed to get every year? That's what they're, I mean, it's dependent on who pay, actually pays tax. There's $50,000 based on the millage that they get. How far, how much do they collect so far? What's in the treasurer's report and it doesn't come until the next meeting. They'll have an update. In December? Or in no, no, no. no. The end of November. Yeah, they'll have an update. I believe it's. And last month it was in the 40s, like upper 40s. When he gave that report, yeah, it was in the upper 40s. Even like the over. Yeah, it's almost complete. Last month it was about 47, I think, something like that. Okay, and you got citywide in that replacement. This, this construction phase one, number two. What is that? Is that pay, uh, for the infrastructure or is that for uh, stormwater water inlets? The water inlets only. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much money is that going to be? Just the 1,040? That's just the um, change work in addition because the, the frame and the frame and grate on one inlet were just too bad so they couldn't reuse them. Okay, so in addition to what? what? What's that other thing? Does anybody that's, got? That's the 14040 in the next one. That's this construction group. Okay, so the whole thing is going to cost what? Fifteen hundred and eighty dollars. Huh? Um. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand and forty dollars. No, no, that's included in that. It's included oh, in it's that. It's included in the fourteen thousand. Yes. Yeah. So it would be thirteen thousand even. Without the change. Okay, Miss Mack and then uh engineer the ten thousand five hundred. Is that for that um, that um what's the that academic study of how to uh, revitalize the city, that was? The comprehensive plan? Yeah. That's what the motion says. And how much more do you owe after this 10500 time? It's up to 70, I believe. Do you so still own what, another 30, 20 000. after that? 30. It's a hundred thousand. It's a hundred thousand. Oh, it's a hundred thousand. Yeah. I thought it was ninety. So no, what? Our no, 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 portion of the state was, was ninety. Ours is ten. Uh uh. So the city's only paying ten thousand. Okay. And how much of all of this the city pays so far? We paid our ten thousand. We paid our ten, and then. Oh, you paid it way up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we paid the first one yeah. because the grant hadn't come in yet, and then the grant covered the rest. And the state reimburses us as they go along. Okay, can I ask you what you're going to do with this comprehensive plan once you talk pays off? Hopefully I mean, use it to re sit on it and put it in the library or what? Hopefully we use it to revitalize the message. That's the reason they're there. Well, we need it to get more grant money. That's the, the thing. So, so you're saying with their uh, written yeah. dossier, you're going to be able to get grant money? Yeah, so a lot of the state grants and federal grants require a comprehensive plan. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay, I guess that answers all. Hey, Ernie, I looked at that for you. It was 47, 323 last, last month. Last month? And you added 12. It's, all, it's like 48, 5 now. So we're on about 1,500 more. 1,500 more. All right, that's good. I'm glad the library gets to All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Sorry. One more question. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, again, Dawn Dreger, 1428 Grand Avenue. 
This motion to pay the judgment. What was that about? What case is that about? It says case number is CV 150 2019. First page, above, right above Councilman Anthony Ward County. Dealt with the flooding incident on the yeah. Grand Boulevard standing water. Oh, was that when that guy drove into yep. the city? Yeah, we got to take a So, okay. So, someone drives into standing water. And we have to end up paying for it. No, no. here's the problem. No, no listen, it's <coughs> litigation. Let's not okay. get into the reasons. The judge made a decision. Oh, the judge made a decision. But, yeah. Okay, that was where, that was at the intersection of Brady and Brady. Brady. And we, we do have an issue that we need to keep on top of. This is about the fourth or fifth time that I'm aware of. We actually had a uh, fire chief charge in that water once. Not me. Who was that? Heckle. Not me. <laughs> I'm not mentioning any names or anything. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Can I just ask one follow-up question on what you just said? Mm -hmm. How much is that uh, compensation we have to give to the driver, the driver? And how much of it came out of the insurance and how much came out of the general fund? Insurance was paid. Insurance did not pay. But the insurance didn't pay nothing. So, so you guys had to pay the whole. Uh, I guess I can send it to our insurance company. Yeah. It would probably be. It's probably less than yeah. the, the uh, deductible. I think our deductible is a thousand or maybe six hundred and eighty-four dollars. You should get on them. If they don't pay, tell them you're going to take care of it. Yeah, if, it's, if, it's, if it's a deductible. It's lower than the deductible. Yeah. Oh. We're just as well to just pay it because I'll just deny it. So. We'd spend more paying the deductible than yeah. Anybody else? Okay. There'll be a treasurer's report for the month of October 2019. There'll be a police report for the month of October 2019. Make a motion to approve resolution number 17-2019, a resolution of the City of Manesson City Council approving the budget revision to the fiscal year 2016 Community Development Block Grant CDBG program. Do a second? Second. Second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Wozachowski? Yes. Councilwoman Thomas? Yes. I have a motion to appoint Brooke Farmer to the Mon Valley Sewage Authority to serve until December 31st, 2019. Do a second? Second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Wozachowski? Yes. Councilwoman Thomas? Yes. I have a motion to hire Dustin Promotius? Promotions. Promotions to the position of mechanic in the streets department at the starting pay rate of $16 per hour and it's according to the approved AFSCME City of Vanessa agreement effective October 24th, 2019, and subject to require testing and paperwork. Second. There was a second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Wozachowski? Yes. Councilwoman Thomas? Yes. Well, a motion to accept the gift of two parcels of vacant land from the Canestrelli family? Canestrel. Canestrel, sorry. Parcel ID 20-02-08-0-382 and parcel ID 20-02-08-0384. Second. There's a second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Wozachowski? Yes. Councilman Thomas? Yes. I have a motion to pay judgment immediately as ordered as the case number CV-150-2019 in the amount of $684.25. Second. Any questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Wozachowski? Yes. Councilman Thomas? Yes. There will be a library board financial report for the month of October. I have a motion to approve transfer of the real estate tax funds collected from October 1st through October 31st, 2019 to the following funds. General fund, $37,072.34. Debt service fund, $12,552.95. Parks and recreation fund, $6,219.99. And the library fund, $1,255.30. Second. We have a second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Wozachowski? Yes. Councilman Thomas? Yes. 
I have a motion to approve change order number three for an increase in contract number 2019-02, the citywide inlet replacement project phase one, construction group number two, in the amount of $1,040 for a new frame on I-20 and a new frame on grade number I-21. Supplied as the existing were deemed unsatisfactory as recommended by WCP. Second. There's a second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Moses Chelsea? Yes. Councilwoman Thomas? Yes. Motion to approve payment to Mornack Excavation Inc. for invoice number October 402 in the amount of $14,040 for the citywide inlet replacement project phase one, construction group number two, final, including change order number three as according to the recommendations of WC Inc. be paid out of the line usage fund. Second. Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Yes. Councilman Yes. Motion to approve payment to Mornack Excavation Inc. for invoice number October 404 in the amount of $800 for the completion of asphalt road repairs and the 200 Aliquippa Avenue emergency repair project as recommended by WC Inc. be paid out of the line usage fund. Second. We have questions on the motion. Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Yes. Councilman Thomas? Yes. Motion to approve payment to Mac and Engineering Company for invoice number 47305 in the amount of $10,505.59 for consultant services for preparation of the comprehensive plan. Second. Thank you. <laughs> Questions on the motion? Councilman Thien? Aye. Councilman Rosenchowski? Yes. Councilwoman Thomas? Yes. Councilwoman Thomas. Good evening, everyone. Right, there will be a street set up parks before the Valley for October 2019 at our next business meeting. Thank you, Councilman Thomas. Councilman Thomas. Councilman Thomas. <coughs> I'll have the code office financials and the code office report for October, um, along with the fire report, the EMS report, and the civic center regular report. Thank you. Solicitor? It's assistant solicitor now. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I don't have anything to say here. Okay, thank you. The controller report will be available as to will the CDBG reports. We'll now take public comment on non-agenda items. Yeah, I have something to say. Right. I just want to make this real brief. Uh, Yancey Taylor, Denora. Uh, there was a blog put up uh, about a couple, about a week and a half ago from your mayor who's not here. So I just want to address the council and make them aware of you guys should be receiving a, a letter here and also be addressed to the mayor. And I just want to let the chance on notice there could be a major lawsuit involved. Thank you. Okay. Um, everybody got their new garbage food uh, invoice, you know, bill. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I ask you about um, what spurred that increase on? Was it because the current contract you have with the garbage firm, did they uh, increase your fees? Contract went up for 2020, I believe. <laughs> it does. They negotiate, they negotiate that contract. Council does not negotiate that contract. Okay, but the fees did go up with them? Yes. Generally, they say they go up every year, year or two years. Okay, does council have the authority to um, find another garbage collection? Not until the contract's up with the uh, refuse authority. Okay, when is that going to be? The up? end of next year. Of 2020. Yeah. Yeah. You can talk to that guy. <laughs> I can give you some answers. Okay. And, um, Could I ask you now that you got some extra money for that general fund? What are you going to use it for? Where do we get your extra money? Well, that 37000 that we transferred. It's not extra money. We didn't have Elf on the shelf come down and give us money. Let's get that straight. You threw it in the general fund. So what are you going to use it for? Probably mostly payroll. Payroll. I thought we had payroll covered last time. I asked you guys if you had enough to pay five payroll. 
Well, three of them already went by since the last time you asked that question. Okay, so if I was to ask you, how much do you have now in the Kittles for payroll? Not uh, payroll. Our general fund right now has just just around a hundred thousand dollars. Is that with or without the thirty-seven? Without. Without. Okay, so you have one hundred thirty-seven. And it's fifteen, a little over fifty k per payroll. So there's two more to go, right? Or three more? No. no. Four more. Four more. One of the members. Well, that's two hundred thousand. You got one hundred thirty-seven. What are you going to do with the shortage? It's going to be better time. It's going to be yeah. we're friends. Yeah. Well, it's okay. definitely better than it was last year. Yeah. Way better. But you're still working on a come. And, you know, you're it's around the dice there to see if it comes up. Yes, we do. So here's the point. <laughs> the point is, this is nothing of a surprise. And it shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> okay? This is something we've told everybody for the last year to two years, that the tax increase was not going to barely get us by this year. Okay? Plain and simple. We didn't have the money. The tax increase wasn't giving us a buku boat of money that we could do some extra things for that we'd like to do. It was barely for us to say sustain what we were doing. <coughs> That's exactly where we're at. All right. Let's put it to you this way, Ernie. I'll be asking my fellow council people, councilwoman and councilmen to ask for donations for Christmas lights. No, not again. You can ask for donations. I refuse. Go <laughs> find me page. Um, to his question about the uh, trash. Maria Scuteri, 10 knots, Avenue. Um, I haven't been to the meeting in quite a while, but I was here, and I under, it was my understanding that you guys were having difficulty collecting these garbage taxes. I mean, that people weren't, they just, has that improved at all? Have you been able to kind of hunker down on that? And yeah, uh, Marvin and Joey have been going um, and taking a lot of people to the magistrate. Um, I don't have the number in front of me. It's with my, my, um, it's about 30,000 some dollars. It's, I'll have it at the second. No, no, I was just wondering if you were having any success in, in kind of yeah. getting As soon as they get a letter saying they're going to the magistrate, they, they magically fund the money. It says, um, quite interesting. As of last month, the delinquent garbage, they had $73,890 that they got. In the Year to date. Garbage. Here today. And that's all Marvin and Joe. And that was all delinquent. Yes, yes it was all delinquent. See, that's what I wanted to know. Hey, hey Joe, did you threaten to break their legs or what? <laughs> <laughs> I just signed my name to the letter. <laughs> Any other public comment? I'm up. Uh, Captain Susan Twait, uh, 308, New Baker Avenue. Um, I wanted to make council aware and invite you all to come help with holiday meals again this year. Thanksgiving Day will be 11 to 2. It'll be at St. Spirits in this hall this year as by George moved into their old catering spot, so now we're shifting the meal. And then for Christmas, it'll be the Saturday prior to um, the holiday, which I believe is the 20th, December 20th. But we will also be at St. Spiritson's Hall from 11 to 2, and the Army will offer transportation uh, for those who might need a ride to the meal. Can you text it to me, sir? I sure will. Yep. So, but I just want to make sure everyone was aware. Do you think Midmont Valley might help with that? Pardon me? Do you think Midmont Valley Transit might help with that? I was thinking of giving yeah. them a call yeah. so, and see if they'll do a stop. You never know, they may, yeah. Yeah, because they, they stop right up the well, street, right. so to adjust it for those two days, they I don't may. think that would be too much to ask. Yeah. As long as they're running on things. Yeah. So, but we'd love to have any community help involved. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other agenda? Um, any other comments? A motion to adjourn. Oh, there will be an executive session afterwards. And we, and we had an executive session.
Last night? Last night for the interviews. For the yes, for the interviews. I have a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Okay. I made the motion to close yet.